next one. Nice to meet you and thanks for having me. Take a seat, please. Sorry, I couldn't find someone to take care of him. But thank you so much for your consideration. With a baby? Really? How did you even get past the first screening test? Get out, please. But it doesn't say in the job description. It doesn't have to. Come on. You're just wasting everyone's time. Please. I really need this. Get out, please. Okay, let's jump right into it, shall we? What was your previous position and what didn't you like in your last job? I was in a girlfriend position with two previous companies. There wasn't much I disliked about my last job. The partner I had was supportive, kind, and their family was nice and welcoming, and they were all hardworking people. One area that did frustrate me was the fact that I didn't think the partner had achieved their full potential and I hated to see it when wasted. During our time together, we wanted to create something of our own, but for some reasons. The partner didn't want to take risks nor plan to grow and expand, but was happy staying the same. So being an ambitious person, I wanted to do more and contribute more. If I were to be with you, I think I'll be able to assist you to grow in the ways that none other could, if given the opportunity. I want to be honest here, I don't have much experience in the industry but I'm very much willing to learn and uh, I would even take non-paid job or internship if you offer. I was a wife with the previous company. What I didn't like about that company is that they are a bit too perfect and all my friends are kind of messed up. None of them have healthy relationships so I couldn't really fit in. So I have to make up lies about the husband and the company. Small things like they never help out with the house. I have to do everything by myself, 9 to 5, take care of the kid. Just at one point, it feels really tiring to keep up with all the lies, so I have to dump his ass. Where do you see yourself in 5 years? I don't even know where I'm going to be in the next 5 months, so it's a silly question, isn't it? Of course I will be with you in 5 years. I would. I love this position and some might call it clingy but I'm very loyal so wherever you are that's where I'm gonna be <laughs> together forever, right? My goal is to spend that five years wisely. If I'm gonna spend a lot of time with this company, generally I want that time to be put to good use that we both enjoy each other company. In five years I still plan to be living with you, taking care of you being your emotional support and probably when the time is right, be the mother of your children. Of course, if that's something we both agree and plan. In five years, I envision having developed considerably in my role as a wife and expanding to a mother role by reading books, learning about new skills on the job, and I plan to continue to be a loving, caring, wise woman. I don't think I'll be interested much in Lao activities such as nightclub, but the social ones with friends and families. In return, I expect to be respected, trusted, and loved, and cared about and seen as a team member. Essentially, in this five years period, I wish to build a long-term relationship and a lasting one. Why should I hire you for this position? In other words, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? Because I'm the f***ing table. Well, I'm still very young and still exploring what I'm good at but on top of my head I would say I can be a brilliant trophy wife that you can show up to your friends and family. I have very good genes that I can produce cute babies. I love babies. Do you? And I, um, I don't have any stretch mark and I can make very decent food. I think you should hire me because I already have the right skills, qualities, and drive to match the job description. I'm proud of myself on my unconditional love for those I adore. I always embrace their unique qualities and supporting their dreams, even if they differ from my own. I have letters from my previous partners to back that up. It is in the info pack that you have right in front of you. 
Patient and understanding are my number one virtue. Another thing I will bring to the table is my empathy. This creates a strong bond, allowing me to provide the support and comfort needed during life's ups and downs. Next, I'm a quick learner. I can make sure I learn about you and fit into your team. I'm flexible. I will even do tasks outside my job description. And last but not least, I will look for ways to help you grow financially while being frugal with the given resources and supply to help you save money so it benefits us both in the long run. What makes you unique? That will be my ability to communicate and interact. I won't go silent treatment when an argument occurs. I'm here to nurture, not to put pressure. I will always encourage open communication by actively listening to your thoughts and feelings, creating a safe space for you to share your experiences without fear of judgment. I'm very supportive. This is good for you because I will put your needs above mine and go beyond to make sure that you are satisfied. The second thing is my desire to continually improve. I want to become a wife that you can emotionally, physically and intellectually connect with. I will never just do the bare minimum. I will support you with all that I can and I will help you achieve your goal. Ah, I can sing and I can, I can do golem voice. <clears throat> My precious. Oh, you didn't seem to be impressed. Okay, um, some guys uh, might even say that I'm very good at blow. Well, there's only one of me in this entire world. If that's not what makes me unique, I don't know what does. What is your biggest weakness? Oh, I hate this. I hate financial responsibilities. If you give me money to say go shopping, I don't mind. It's easy peasy, but Things like taxes. I haven't touched my taxes in like five years. Can you imagine? No, I can't. Other than the fact that I don't cook, I don't think I have any weaknesses. Some guys I dated before said it is a deal breaker, but it doesn't say in the job description, so I don't think it's a big deal, right? Um, other than that, I don't mind eating out all the time, do you? <laughs> Back then, I'm a bit of a people pleaser but I'm trying to be more mindful in situations like this and I'm the type of person who continually improve in all areas. I would want to focus my time and energy to those that are dear to me and focus on my well-being. I have headache often and uh, I have to tell you I'm not a very good listener. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I'm telling you honey, it's not gonna be a problem. What do you think of prenup? A prenup? Who do you think I am? A gold digger? Do you have any goal for me to dig? Sorry, what's the prenup? Finance is something that we don't have enough candid conversation with our partner. That's what makes it scary and emotional. But I'd rather deal with it now when we are in good condition and everything is good than when bad things does happen. For better or worse, there's one thing I'm certain that people change. I intend to work hard for myself to be proud of myself, so there's nothing to worry about when it comes to a prenup. However, I know for a fact that many women come into a marriage with barely nothing. They work for or with their previous partner and together they grew the business to a whole new next level but their names weren't on any documents or assets. When they parted ways, either it was in peace or not, they are left with almost next to nothing. I believe we all intend to continue working but what happened if the women have children and have to stay home? So now, for those come into a marriage with nothing but good intention, they might have the hesitation to fight with the idea if the bad does come, what's going to cover them. That's why I'm pro prenup, but it has to come down to what terms that benefit us both when the time comes. Well, now that you mentioned, please submit your bank statements and any other assets that you have. Well, that's hardly appropriate at this time. We have many great candidates, so the description has changed. If you don't have it with you now, go print and leave it with the reception or you won't hear from us again. Okay, speed round. Body count. Fairly inappropriate. Drug. No. Drinking. No. Smoking. No. Debt. None. Spend or save. Save and invest. Children. Yes. Pets. Yes. In-laws. Being close. Indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Car, couch or shoes? None. Stay at home mom or daycare? Um. Ah, too long. Takeout or frozen meal? Home cook. 
Pursue or be pursued? Equally important, it is a two-way street. Biggest fear? Unfulfilled potential. So, do you have any questions for us? Yes, um, how soon can I start? Because I really want to get a leg up in this summer. All of my friends are already in a relationship or going on vacation. How old are you again? 17. Come back when you're 18. Jeez, no common sense. How many houses and cars do you own? How many vacations a year are we taking? And uh, what's my monthly allowances? What's your expectations around kids? What is your stand on financial contribution from each? What do you want to leave? Are you into traveling? And you know that kids will likely change their female partner career. Would you consider staying home full time with a kid? Um, that's just, well, that just the top of my head. I have a list of questions here. You can get back to me when you can. Huh. Who does she think she is? Now, this is something worth talking about. Welcome, and you are Miss? Michelle. Michelle, let me give you a tour of the company. Have you seen the view of the house? You're gonna love it. your previous position and what did you like to see yourself in five years? You say Michelle, right? I said my name. So you're gonna say your name first? I did already. Huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Michelle, let me give you a tour of the company. Have you seen the view of the house? You're gonna love it. <laughs> 